and thank you. I love, love you. you. I love you too. We said <laughs> jinx. Jinx. <laughs> You still tweeting from that old ass swamp account? Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite artist? <laughs> Who are you picturing when you were playing these roles? The psychology behind Dre is not something I could streamline. I didn't really actually look to anybody to be an image in my mind. I just thought about love. It doesn't matter if it was a pop star. She Nigel just happens to be a pop star, but for Dre, it was just love. What really drew me to this script was the love and the sisterhood and the bond of Dre and Marissa. And that's something that they bonded on with because they loved each other so unconditionally and so strong and it was so passionate and twisted and weird. Part of the swarm. <laughs> Talk about Nyjah. It's done. Was there a real artist that you were ever obsessed with growing up? Missy Elliott, Beyonce, Imogene Heap, Meryl Garbus of Toon Yards, Grimes, Bjork. So in that way, like, I think the studying of, you know, the engineering and the production side of thing, I think that's where my little mind gets obsessed, <laughs> for, if you want to call it that. I was obsessed with Tevin Campbell, <laughs> like obsessed to the point where my, my parents were concerned. Okay. Smashing Pumpkins, I really mm -hmm. loved. And Mary J. Blige. Mm -hmm. When I was like about nine or ten, I watched The Jacksons and the American Dream, and it was a wrap after that. I, <laughs> I love Jackson 5. I used to have them all on my, all my walls, and when, it, when I used to go to school trips and could only bring one CD, I would bring The Jackson 5. And also, I used to love Eminem. Ironically, I could rap the whole third verse of Stan. I hope you know I ripped all your pictures off the wall. I loved you, Slim. We could have been together. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. Woo! Uh, sorry. <laughs> your connections to Beyonce run deep. Stretching all the way back to your first IMDb credit in 2003's The Fighting Temptations, where you played a younger version of Beyonce's character. Have you ever discussed this special connection with her? Yes, we have photos together and it's crazy because when she signed my sister and I to Parkwood, she didn't realize it until we all looked at the pictures together again. And that was my very first acting job, my very first audition. And it's crazy to think like how everything is full circle. I love her. Speaking of full circle, Dominique, what was it like to play Jay-Z's mother, <laughs> Gloria Carter, in the music video for Smile? I was surprised that that even happened. Oh, we got to shoot in Marcy. I'm from Brooklyn, so that was a highlight. And then I guess uh, when the first time I met him, I was so nervous. That I was just like, well, I'm from Brooklyn. He was like, I know. <laughs> yeah. So I've heard you and Donald actually did a lot of research in trying to figure out the character of Dre, saying that it was inspired by some famous TV anti-heroes. We wanted to be as punk as possible. Mm. And when you write a character that is, let's say, unhinged, <laughs> kind of their own worst enemy, that anti-hero mm. trope, they're often reserved for white men in the TV and film space or white women. And so we really wanted to do that show, do that, like, that feeling, that kind of danger mm. through the lens of a, a black female. Did she give you any homework to kind of study any TV characters to help you prepare for your roles? Even before I signed onto the project, I know we were both told about watching Piano Teacher, and now that has gone down as one of my favorite films. Nice. Because I'm such a it's huge, so good. Yeah. It's so good. Like, I love psychological thrillers. <laughs> it should be studied. It's insane. Yes. And I am yeah. just so proud of Dom because to see how she brought such a complex, layered character to life in such an incredible way is really inspiring. I watched Monster growing up with Charlize Theron and Boys Don't Cry and I love Heath Ledger and the Joker and all these type of films that I was like, oh man, one day I want to be able to do that. And I'm so fortunate to play Dre because, you know, a lot of actors wish for something like this over the course of their career. And in one season, I get to be so many different things. And so I'm really, really grateful. Thank you guys. And thank you. I, I love, love you. you. I love you too. We said, <laughs> jinx. Jinx. <laughs>